Hey guys, it is Monday the 10th of June and as the last weekly vlog was very abbreviated, I've decided that until something's happening, i.e. Jennifer's on school holidays, there's not going to be a weekly vlog. What I'm going to do is a weekly reading and colouring vlog. I'm actually out waiting to pick her up, so I'm not actually reading at the moment, but I thought I'd just let you know. Um, so I'll let you know how I'm getting on with War and Peace and what else I'm reading as I go through it. So I haven't bought any books yet in June. I've been very good. I almost went in the shop, charity shop today, but I didn't because I was carrying something else. I bought French fancies. I fancy some French fancies. So I'm having going to have some of those when I get home with a nice hot cup of tea. Um, but yeah, so we will be doing a reading and colouring vlog. I'll show you what I'm colouring. I'll show you what I'm reading. I'll let you know how many pages I've been reading and how long I read for, etc, etc. So I hope that's okay. Um, if anything does happen this week, I will take you with me and just include it. Uh, but pretty much there's not a lot happening with Jennifer in school. I'm at my mum's most of the day, um, keeping her company, looking after her, and she's not one for being on camera. So I'm going to respect her and not uh, not do that. Um, obviously, when we're on holiday, she'll probably be in a few shots. I can't help that. That's just the way it is. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to film her in her own home when she's not happy. So <laughs> let's, let's not do that. So I will see you later, and I'll let you know exactly what I'm colouring what I'm reading and what I plan on reading and colouring for the rest of the month. Hi guys, it is actually Tuesday the 11th of June now. Um, I didn't get to do a reading update last night because it it's hard getting Jennifer settled at night. She's become extremely clingy since Granddad died. Um, I think she's terrified everybody else is going to die. Uh, so she won't really leave me alone <laughs> at all. So we're just trying to get her back to going to bed earlier and getting her in her own room. However, I will give you a reading update. So I did last night read a few pages of War and Peace, not as much as I wanted to, but about four or five chapters. And I am currently on uh, page 592. So yeah, nearly halfway through. And I am still really enjoying it. I'm not finding it a slog, it's a pleasure to read. I know some people do find it very difficult. I was going to read this last night, but as soon as I picked it up, Jennifer got too interested and wanted to know all about it. So I put it down and didn't read it. So I will start doing that. I'm reading a book on my Kindle, which is called Murder in the Library, um, which I am enjoying. And I tend to read that when I'm picking Jen up or if I'm at Mum's and we're having a cup of tea because uh, she's reading all the time. She has read so many books this year. Um, I read a lot. And I started doing a good reads after Dad died to give her something to do, to, to see how many books she could read. Because it's all she does is read. She can read three or four books a day when she's in the mood. Sometimes she doesn't. And I know that she's 38% ahead of schedule on her good reads for this year. <laughs> Because I set it, I set it, her, her challenge, mine's 175, um, and I set hers at 160, and she's 38% ahead. I'm not sure how many she's read, but I know it's a lot. <laughs> so, I think it's funny, I can't wait to see how many she reads, and then for next year I will um, base her challenge on that. In fact, I'll probably set it at that, because we didn't start it till about April, uh, May, uh, March or April. So, yeah, so I will set it for whatever she hits this year. So I still haven't finished A Penny for Tomorrow. This is the book that's set in Bristol in the 50s. So I keep imagining my dad walking around there as a 13 year old, uh, but I'm, I think I'm gonna try and hit on that now and, and get that one done just because it, it'd be nice to read about where he, the city he lived in when he was a kid. I've got a load of books of his on Bristol that my brother Richard's going to have and I'm going to have to start pulling them out and reading them so he can take them back to New Zealand. But, uh, yeah, but he's not over till next month. But anyway, anywho, I am going to do a little bit of my journal because I am way behind on it. I've got some pictures to, to get so I can print them up. I have got some printing to do. I've got uh, Ava Brown uh, PDF to, to print up and colour in as part of the launch team which is a gnomes book and they are really cute this one i'm not big on gnomes but this one's gorgeous and so i'm gonna crack on with that and see if i get a chance to do any reading at all this morning probably will at mum's sometimes i color though i've got a coloring book over there yeah i am quite flush it's it's wednesday 12th of june so yeah today is four months since my dad died so it's not been a good couple of days really, is it? This uh, reading vlog's not going very well.
Yeah, it's not going very well at all. So, what with madam? Anyway, um, I am reading the a book called The Little Bookshop of Lonely Heart. It's really good. That's on my Kindle. I've actually nearly finished it. I only started it today. Um, last night I read half of this and I'm hoping to finish the other half of it and I do want to carry on with this one and try and get through some of that. I'm really looking forward to getting onto War Horse to be honest, which I've never read, but I really want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself ready for bed, sort out all my medicines and I'm going to sit and read and I'll let you know how I get on if I finish Karen Slaughter uh, and so on. So I'll let you know. But yeah, this, this vlog's not very good, is it? I mean, ever since my dad went, everything has been such hard, so hard. I just don't want to do anything much. I sit and read. But I've not even been doing my journal properly. I've got a lot to do on that. But I'm still going to try and read and I'll talk to you later. Okay, guys. So I finished um, the Karen Slaughter uh, prequel. It was okay. I, I give it three stars. It's not an amazing book, but it's okay. Um, a penny for tomorrow. I'm actually going to DNF it because I'm just, I've gone back into it and there's just so much different stuff going on. I'm just not enjoying it. And even though it's set in the 50s, it doesn't feel like the 50s. You know, I mean, like, you know, I know it's the early 50s and we had the coronation party and that, but it was all right. But it's just this really dull book. Um, more my mum's sort of thing but do you know what that happens I don't often DNF a book but I have DNF I'm going to DNF it I'm not going to even try and go back to it so tomorrow when I've got the light on we'll pick one from the jar if I can find it it's here somewhere and we'll try something else it's that simple I am now going to potentially read a little bit of War and Peace or maybe War Horse I'm not sure I might have a quick look at War Horse and see what I think of that Anyway, I thought I'd update you, so I actually have the DNF to book. Now, this is something that happens maybe once, twice a year, if that. It's very rare. I never DNF books. I usually read them. But this one, I just... It's not even because it's set in Bristol. But it doesn't feel like Bristol, even in the 50s. I don't hear the accents. I'm usually really good at picturing accents, but what they're saying doesn't sound Bristolian to me. I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit... <sighs> dull. For me. So, you know, I'll try something else. It's not the end of the world. Hey everybody, it's Thursday evening. And, uh, it's raining. It's hammering down outside. It's not nice weather for June. And it's cold. We've had to put the heating on. The heating in June. It's that cold in here. I broke my non-book buying ban and I bought four books in the charity shop for 25p each. Not going to show them to you because obviously I'll haul them at the end of the month because it's my birthday at the end of the month so I'm bound to get something. Well I'm assuming I am, I might not. And uh, I also bought some colouring books and pens but you will definitely be seeing those at the end of the month. Like I said I started reading Warhouse last night and I'm enjoying that and I read about four or five chapters of War and Peace so I have now made it to page 600. I am nearly halfway through. Guess about halfway through, about six seventy, I would say. So, but I'm just gonna keep reading it throughout the year until I finish it because it's not a problem. It's easy to read. I'm enjoying it. It's usually just go to sleep because Jennifer came in last night when I was reading, so I just put it down and went to sleep. So, so I'm feeling a bit down tonight. I think it's the weather change. I don't like it too hot because I suffer and. I burn in the heat, but so I'm just going to something. I am. Um, I do like the sun uh, a bit. Today I also finished the little bookshop of Lonely Hearts on the Kindle, and started reading it, reading in Eng the English bookshop, which is quite good so far, and I'm enjoying that so far. Um, well, just easy to carry my Kindle around and read it when I'm waiting for Jen and a book, even though I bought books today. One of them's really small so it's going to be great to just top up the uh, Goodreads. Although I am around five ahead at the moment. I'm not hugely ahead but I'm about five ahead. Um, so that's good. I'm going to go do some tea. We're all really tired today. Even Jennifer said she's tired so if Jennifer says she's tired 
<laughs> there's something going on. I got the cat in here with me. She's sitting on the bed, the end of the bed, on a blanket and a couple of my dressing gowns. I want to pull shirts. She went out and got soaked. Um, I'm going to go get a couple of colouring books because I'm going to be doing a buddy colour with Molly in Colouring Heaven Fairy Tales, issue 73. Um, just Fabiana Atanasios. And also I want to do one in Atlantis by Hannah Carlson. And I want to use the pencils from the works, which is the Crawford and Black ones. I'm still swatching them. They've taken me months to swatch them. But I'm nearly at the end. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, books. Don't you love them? Anyway. I'm going to do some tea as well. Because I'm sure they're all hungry. Even if I'm not. Hi everybody. It is actually Saturday. Um, I didn't film yesterday because I, well, I didn't really read anything yesterday. I did do a bit of colouring. I'm working on a picture from Fairy Stories, uh, which is a Colour in Heaven one by Fabiana Atanasio of Beauty and the Beast, which I'm doing with Molly. And I started doing one last night in here, but I've literally only just done a tiny little bit, which was the skin here, as you can see. So I'll be working on that one later. I have a cat on the bed. Do you want to see? There she is, my little Zeddy. She's so black. Oh, she's so pretty. Hey, new sweetheart. Hey. Yeah. So, I did receive two books in the mail today. They're from my brother for my birthday. Now, my birthday's not to the end of the month, and I was expecting a package from Amazon today. So I opened it because he hadn't told me he'd sent something, but yeah, just so that you know, he got me two Stephen King's Bag of Bones, which I read years and years ago, so I'm looking forward to rereading that. So, so long ago, it's not even my good boots. And Eyes of the Dragon, which I've never read, so I'm really looking forward to that. So I'll pop them over there. I won't be reading them until I, uh, after my birthday, I don't think, because I've still got a stack of books next to the bed, um, which I've explained is how I... my TBR for the next few books... Unless I change my mind. But I'm not going to be reading those anytime soon anyway, so I'm getting ready to go out now. I'm gonna to go to my mum's, just had a shower. I'm popping to see my mum, then we're gonna pop down and see Paul's mum. I'm gonna try and get her scanner working, because not a scanner. A printer. She's got a printer like mine and she can't get it working, so I'm gonna have a go with it. I've just remembered that I did say that after I DNF to Penny for tomorrow, we'd pick a new one out of the TBR jar. So I'm having a scooter around and I have got one. I have no idea what it is. I hope it's something good to add to our pile. I can't get it open. Hang on. Have a look at the seat. They want like try and get it open. Here we go, here we go. Oh, nearly there. What colour is it? It's written in pink. Doesn't mean anything. I just use different gel pens for it. Uh, we've got <gasps> Blindsided by Karen Slaughter. I love Karen Slaughter. Last Breath, which was the prequel to The Good Daughter, was okay. I, it wasn't over the moon there. It made sense and it was alright. But I've been looking forward to reading this for such a long time. I've just got to find it. I'll find it and show you in a minute. Here it is. I found it. It was on the shelf. I've now filled the gap in. Sleeping out of Hartsdale, Georgia. Jolted into panic when medical examiner Sarah Linton finds a woman dead in the local diner. She's been cut. Two deep knife wounds from a lethal cross on her stomach. Police Chief Geoffrey Tolliver, Sarah's ex-husband, is in charge of the investigation. When a second victim is found, crucified. Nice. Only a few days later, they have to face the fact that the murder wasn't a one-off attack. What they're dealing with is a seasoned sexual predator and a violent serial killer. So I'm going to add that to my TBR pile. Oh, I love a bit of this. I love this sort of book. Hi, everybody. It's Sunday, the 16th of June, and it is Father's Day. 11 years ago on the 16th of June, it was Father's Day, and I was spending it out for lunch with my father. <laughs> so it's a really hard day today, so I've not done much. Um, obviously I've been to see mum, she said don't come down tonight, just, you know, I'm fine. So that's okay, she's sorted. I made sure she was okay before I left and got everything she needs. So this afternoon, I am in a different room. As you can see, I am in the library, office, spare bedroom place I keep my colouring supplies and that's what I'm doing today because before now I had all my colouring supplies in a box um sort of like a, a blanket box but because there was stuff on top of the blanket box I couldn't get to a lot of my colouring supplies so they're the ones I don't use even if I want to so today 
and putting them on this bookcase. There are shelves, I just haven't put them in yet because I need to take the pins out because I, I've got something that's too big for this shelf. Sadly, it's only about that high, so it's going to waste a bit of that high of space, but I want to put them on there so I can get it. And all this, or well, most of this, not the bag, I don't know why the bag's there, is, has got to be sorted, either binned or put on the shelf. I'm hoping that I could get two of the pins and use them on this shelf so I could actually put books on this shelf again where it's missing. And I said to Paul, if we're ever moving, we're not taking these bookcases. We are literally just going to break them down because they're too hard to get up downstairs. And we're going to have built-in bookcases, hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, it's a long way off if we even do. So I'm going to start on this now and I'll show you what I'm doing later. Here we are. I'm trying to keep the top clear so that Paul can put his internet radio on it. This used to be mum, but she doesn't use it, doesn't want it, so we've had it back. His medication, anything else that he needs because he keeps his stuff in here because he does sleep in here a lot when Jennifer sleeps with me he does snore as well and I can't stand it so I've got my spare set of teaser markers here we managed to get the bungs out Paul did that with a pair of pliers got the bungs set for safety uh, safe so that if I ever want to put them back in I can they don't fit my other bookcase so we're going to have to try and find something else because I really want to tidy up these bookcases they're a right mess and for stuff, I don't even know what this is. What is even is that? That's a remote control for something. Who knows? I have no idea. So, And there's books everywhere, as you can see, like colouring books. So I'm actually going to put some colouring books into this space. And see how many I can get in there. So, yeah. It's looking good. I can get to my pencils now. Um, so I get to my ink tents if I want them, which is just here. I'm not sure which one's all of them. I know those are my pollies, brute funas, and the rest are just various others, but at least I can pull them out, have a quick look. And this is the stuff that hasn't particularly got um, cases. So this is my spare Prismacolors, feelers, Black Widows, and various random other pencils here, here, and here. And this is all paints, so it's either acrylic paints or pink pens and watercolour paint pens and stuff. Down here, some of the stuff I might actually get rid of. Um, I'm looking at these. These are for swirl patterns, and I, I don't know what to do with them. I just bought them, thought I might have a go. Uh, and then this is acrylic paint. More pencils here. This is the Erogetons. Four boxes. Um, some glitter pens are in there, and then there's my roll of Colorsoft, the rest of Colorsoft pens, and then the cast I think they're, they're Castle Arts, Castle Arts down there, uh, the ones, some Krillander ones from Lidl's, and these chalk pastels from Lidl's, which I haven't used yet. <laughs> so as you can see, I do buy a lot of colouring supplies. A little bit of space in front of those, uh, um, pencil cases for bits and pieces and on top of there if I want to I could pop something I could put my colour softs up there if I wanted to eventually the point will be to put these into the Arteza bag that I have and get rid of this but they're there for now uh, one of these I'm not even sure anymore one's Prisma colours I have no idea what the other ones are so they're there so I can use them. It's like I said, once I've used up some of these, I'm not going to be replacing them. I will replace those. I will replace those. And obviously the polychromos, uh, which I can get open stock at Hobbycraft. But as the rest of them run out, I probably won't replace them unless it's when I really like, like the Arteza watercolours. Because I do like watercolours. But yeah. quite happy with all this. It's looking a lot better. I'm going to move some colouring books now and see what I can sort out there and I'll show you the finished stuff in a minute. So I've got a bit of stuff on the bed that I need to sort through and I throw out or find somewhere to store but we're getting there. I'm all done now. <clears throat> As you can see I've got my Arteza Everblend marker set here. Pencils. These are the colouring heaven books I haven't coloured in. There's a bit more space if I buy any more because I used to have a subscription and I don't and to be honest I think I've only bought two books this year um, so I'm being a lot more choosy over what I want and I, I haven't wanted a lot of them then we've got more pencils there 
more pencils there and more pencils and pens there but it's done and over here you can see on this messy shelf which I've got to sort out I'm not doing it today because I'm knackered now I've got colouring books Marilyn books colouring books this one here that's not full is all relaxed with arts if I just turn around here's my my cloth band collection my folio society of the Chronicles of Narnia I absolutely love this box set it's beautiful a couple of Thomas Hardy's and so on and then over here obviously we have my Hollywood library my Jack the Ripper library my non-fiction library and then I just got to move the bed because we do push it right up against it so there's more space a six foot bookcase full of colouring books well not completely full as you can see the top shelf is Jade Summer the second shelf is at the right side Jade Summer Camellia Angel Cova Deborah Muller and again colouring heaven <laughs> Oh dear, I have too many colouring books and um, I promised Jennifer I'd colour with her so I'm going to go and do that now. Hey, anyway, it's Sunday night. I'm really tired. Mm -hmm. Jennifer wants to show you something. I'm not sure what it is. What is it? It's ah, I, Lanky I, I, box. I can't Zed. show you. I can't show you. No, 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 no. Bite it. Off you go. Go on. Okay, let me show you. There go. Apparently it's Lanky box. She likes lanky box. I have no idea. Anyway, um, uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to read a bit of War Horse in a minute. You saw what I did with my colouring supplies. Looks much better. I've itchy nose. And, and that's it, really. Um, we'll do it all again tomorrow. It's been an interesting week. I mean, today's been a bit difficult, but we're all right. I'm just really tired. So I'm going to snuggle down with Jen. She's watching uh, TV at the moment, so she's course watching the football that's why she's up here with me uh, and that's it I'll see you all uh, again tomorrow we'll do it all again see what we can do <laughs>